the AngularJS application, there, are, there is a website called angularjs.org. You have to go there and download the required minifile.js file. And from there we can start our development in AngularJS. So for that, we need to go to the site angularjs.org. Okay, so in this site, there are various options like view on GitHub and then download whatever the beta file or the stable one files. So in view view on GitHub tab, if you'll click on this, you'll go to the GitHub site. From here, you'll see that there are various lots of you know different type of development works are available so if you have to dig into those kind of details then you can go here and download the source code and you can dig into the details of this angular js files but just to learn this i would recommend go to this this download tab and here you can see that there are various options here like first one is the branch okay where you have the stable one and the latest one so my recommendation will be to go to the stable one files from where you will not get any difficulties okay and then you have minified file uncompressed file zip file you have you have various options here to get the different kind of files so i would recommend you to go to the stable one and then minified file the third one is cdn network link which is the content delivery network link you can directly include this link to your js file and you can start working your a learning point of this angular js so my recommendation will be to download this 1.3.x uh, stable which is the current version and then the minified file of this js file so just download it like this and after downloading this file you will get your file inside the file folder in which you are you know setting up your application so this one will be your angular js dot minified file from here you and you are done now we have to create our HTML file in which you will include this angular min.js file. So for that you just go and create an HTML file. So I'll use a notepad for the development work. So here this is the file and as a standard HTML template you have this HTML template where you have HTML tag then head then closing of head again you have a body and then you have a closing body tag now inside this head tag will include our javascript angularjs file so will be like this i i was going to include the css file so i just have to include the javascript change src and then here we have to close this Here I have to provide angle js dot js file. So now we have included our JavaScript file to this HTML file. It means that your uh, Angular JS minified file is included in your HTML file. So we'll test this that uh, how to how you will get assured that your AngularJS file is, has been loaded to your HTML file. For this, we'll just do a test from this file. This is hello world. Just have to remove this from AngularJS. Okay. I would like to test this with the HTML file. So I'm going to my folder and uh, here I'm giving it a name as demo.html. Better, I would like to save it as demo1.html file and then we'll go to this place and then I will run this demo file. So here you can see that this is a simple HTML file, but this is not from angular js okay so for that we will go to this place and we will bind this whole lot of text inside this variable and we will see and we will give a colon here like this and then let's save it and then again run it and see where I am 
okay so i would like to run this html file on chrome as it is it gives me a better uh, debugging skill and debugging way to you know, debug that whatever i have written for this oops i have made this hello world spelling corrected and now this is so now what you can see in the browser that this is a simple html so you can see this whatever curly braces i have mentioned it coming into the, to the body of this html file so this is straightforward saying that this is an html part this is not the angular js part okay so for this what i have to do i have included this script file to my html file but it is not yet initialized so for that i have to mention a bootstrap directive which actually loads your uh, angular js app to this to this html file so now let's test it and yes there you are you can see that your curly braces has gone and you have now given this as a variable so what this curly braces means two curly braces so whatever you will keep inside this curly braces that will be treated as a variable okay so now to test that that whether whatever you are uh, writing here is correctly binded or not so we'll try it we'll get input type here and we'll bind this to the variable whatever we want so this is an input element and then we'll have ng model ng model and inside this we'll have a variable name called suppose message text and we'll close this off and then we'll try to bind this variable so there you are so now let's check it out what is what happened here so just refresh it and you have got a text input here and this text is empty because we have binded this text input with this variable okay so whatever you will inside here like rahul i have typed whatever you have typed inside the text input that will get binded with this variable with whatever whatever we have defined here like this is message text so ng model is a data 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 thing in uh, angular js which whatever you will define a name and wherever you ever you bind with that uh, a variable inside your html file that will get actually reflect your whatever data you will provide with the html file and that will give a uh, reflect here this shows me that whole lot of code that your angular js file has been loaded inside your application so this is just a demo for uh, initializing your development work with angular js now i would like to mention some ui com inbuilt components which into this angular js framework so i would like to prefer here to use a bootstrap library ui library file so there are a whole lot of ui uh, libraries are available in the you know, various javascript frameworks but i would like to work with bootstrap so for that what you will do is you just go to the bootstrap site that is getbootstrap.com and on the very home page you will get this site so what you'll do you just go to the download bootstrap and there are a whole lot of options like bootstrap source code and that sas platforms you know different js files for this bootstrap but for now we'll go to this download bootstrap and then you'll get a zip file for that okay we'll get this uh, zip file from the bootstrap site and you can extract it here and you will get this file so we there are a whole lot of uh, css files and fonts and javascript file as available uh, in this zip file so we just need this css and uh, font so we'll just go here and paste it inside your demo file and then i will go again and inside this js file i have a minified version of bootstrap which i will take here and paste it in the root file of this application so what is now we have to include this bootstrap dot minified file to bring this library inside your inside our html uh, file to use the various ui components available with this bootstrap uh, library so for that what, what we will do we'll similar as we have included our angular minified js file to this html file similarly we'll add it at the bootstrap dot minified file so just write it like this bootstrap dot minified so there you are and you have included your uh, bootstrap file to your html file similarly we have to add a style sheet file 
and uh, we have to include that CSS file inside here to get the different CSS available for this bootstrap inside our application so you just have to give a CSS file path here and so this way you can give bootstrap dot css okay now the relation with this link will be like style sheet style sheet so there you are and we just have to see that whether there is an error or not so go here and see that yes it is working and how to test that your css files are available here or not so for that we need just do up just create a div here and inside div how to you know take some uh, css from bootstrap file there are lots of you know tabs available here so you just go to the components you have some CSS tab where you can get that what are the css written inside the css file so here we are interested in alert component so just go here and you will see here that there is an alert component and these are the styles given in the site so it is very easy to get that what are the components available with the bootstrap ui library and you can use it so i'm interested in doing this green background alert so what i will do is you just go here and take this css and just go back to your file and then men mention it inside the div so there you are now you have to close this div also because we are mentioning all the elements of html inside this div and just give a padding to this to look your code source word good okay now refresh your browser we haven't got it so there is some error so for debugging purpose we'll just press the f12 and you can see here that there is a error and we have to find that what is the so error so here you can see inside this console you can see that this css file is not you know getting you know loaded inside your for that we need to do this and now there you are so you, you see that your html is loaded with ui put bootstrap ui library with an alert component with the normal html elements and you whatever you will sign uh, right here that will get binded with your message text variable so make it look better what we'll do is just provide a padding to this body of this html file so go here define your style and make padding as 50px so this way you are padding to your html file and there you are it looks good so this is how we can uh, load your bootstrap ui library with that style sheet and uh, angularjs and you can start you know building your web apps so this is the very basic introduction for this bootstrap and uh, angularjs loading so let's go back to our ppt again and you can see that we have seen that loading of angularjs then loading the library bootstrap and the hello world example so we have covered all this you know getting started stuff with uh, angularjs and this is how we can go ahead to you know completely building a us angularjs library our applications in front end so thank you